Once you log in, you'll go straight to your team channel, but if you have access to sub accounts, you get to choose which one you want to log into. If not, you'll come straight to this team channel area. If you do have sub accounts, you can always click your profile in the top right, where you can press the drop down of sub accounts to switch to other ones. This is also where you can log out of the account. The team channel is where content gets shared to you. So you'll see content that you've been tagged in, whether that's in the everyone group or group of standard users that you've been added to or something you've been mentioned in individually. Each post that you see, you can interact with by using the emojis. You can also comment on a post to continue the conversation. And whenever you comment on a post, you can add more detail to that post, for example, linking a video from the platform to that as well. If you want to review a post in more detail, for example, this is one where there is a video file and some analysis and some list of clips. You click on the content, then you'll be taken to an area where you can review that, whether that's analysis, presentation, a list of clips, etc, etc. And later in this video, you'll see how to interact with those different types of content. At the top of the team channel, you have options for filtering out. You can use the search bar to find specific content. You can also look for content that's just been shared to specific groups. And you can look for specific types of content here as well. Just use the drop down filters. If you star a post, for example, I'm going to star these two here. When you press the star icon at the top, you will see those two favorited things. You can always remove a favorite by just tapping the star. You can also create your own post by just pressing the blue post button in the bottom right. You start typing and whenever you make a post, you use the at symbol to choose who's gonna have access to it. And it can go to a group or an administrator user, to your coaches or individual users there as well. So if you create a post to player two, it's only you and player two that can have the conversation around that content. Administrator users can also see all of this content. So you write the post and you link content to it, whether that's a video, analysis, presentation, etc. So there's lots of different bits of content on the hub that get shared with you. And down the bottom of the app, you've got ways of finding that. So the bottom right, is the documents area. So things like PDFs and images, you tap one of these, then you use the option to download. And this will then save that as a file on your device. So wherever your downloads go to on your device, that's where you can see them. Next to this is the presentation button. So on here, you'll see presentations that have been shared to you. You open up a presentation by tapping on it. And this will then have different lists in the presentation. So I can see a few different lists here. I can see the name of the list, how long it lasts and how many clips are inside of it. If you click on a list, you'll then go to watch all of the clips and you just tap a clip that's here to start watching it. If you press the notes button at the top left, you can see the notes next to it. So we go to a different clip play it back, see if there's any notes and descriptors, and you work that way. With the icons at the bottom left, you can go back to the list view, select a different list and work through those clips. If you wanted to, you can hold a press on as many clips in this list as you want, and you can then press the post button make a list and you can then add this as a post and share it out to others on the team channel that they could then review those specific clips that you found. So I'm now going to press the team channel button in the top right, the aeroplane icon to go back to my main team channel. And now I'm gonna use the analysis option at the bottom, which is like the magnifying glass. And here you'll see analysis for different games that have been uploaded. Select a game, 
then you've got different options to review. So I'm going to press the three by three black grid button there, which is the matrix. And this will load all the results of that analysis. So the categories and descriptors that have been uploaded. You find the things that you want to review, press the number, and it will take you to that list of clips. So you can watch through these, you can use the playback controls on the video, you can skip to the next clip in the list, skip back, play and pause. You can also hold a press on these clips if you wanted to select some from the analysis, create a post and share that on the team channel as well. I'm going to press the back button at the top here and back again. So I'm back at the analysis area because you also have the ability to select more than one analysis at once. If you do that, you could press the matrix button again to view a matrix of all of those combined. And you also have a search tool here for the clip filter. If you press this the C button it means a category. So you select a drop down, and it might be your name or it might be specific actions. So you choose the action that you want and then you've got and and not filters on the left. So here is an example. I'm looking for all of the home kickouts in the first half. And when I'm happy with that filter, because you could add more details if you wanted to. When you're happy with your filter, you press view now and you will see those specific clips that you've selected to look at. Whether you press the icon in the top left, which will take you first to the videos area, or if you're on the team channel and then press the video button on the bottom left, you can come to a video, open it and start playing it back with all the usual playback controls of skipping ahead, pausing, etc. Here you can also jump to the analysis in the same way and use the clip search or the full matrix option. If you press this icon in the bottom right, you can also make your own clips on the video. So all you do is press the red record button to start a clip. And when it gets to the end of the clip that you want to make, you could use the playback controls to skip ahead. You press the gray stop button. Give a name to the clip. And you could type some notes if you want to. Then you press the blue button of add clip. So you've made one clip on the video. You could go through and make as many clips as you want, but you have to stay in this environment because you haven't saved those clips yet. So I'm going to make a new clip. And I'm going to stop that clip. I'm going to rename this one as clip two and change my notes. And then I press the blue add clip button. Now I can tap that pop up that says see list, but if that's disappeared, Press the play icon in the top right and you'll see your list of clips there. Now that they're created, you can press send clips and you have different options. If you press save to my clips, which I recommend you do, it will save to a personal area where it's just your clips that only you as a player can see and access. So you press save to my clips and then you can view those clips back. You could also press create a post and you'll make a post with those two clips that you can share to others. If you want to review where all of those clips are, you just have to go to the presentation environment. You'll see the same icon for clips. Tap that and then you'll see all the clips that you've made on all the different videos you've got access to. So I could choose one video and press view results. And I'll see the different clips that I've made and I can look at the notes that are on them as well. Or I could go back and I could select both games, view the results and I'll see all of those clips from all of the different games. Now that these clips are in my My Clips area, I can hold press to select multiple clips and then I might put these in a post, I might tag that to the coach I want to get some feedback from, I 
send that as a post and that will no, now go on the team channel for them to review and comment around and they'll have a notification on that as well.